up, everybody? It's Chelsea, and you're watching On The Come Up Podcast. Greetings, my people. Welcome to another episode of On The Come Up Podcast with your host, DJ Ace. It's me. And I got a special guest with me, model, aspiring model, up-and-coming model, Chelsea. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How you doing? I'm cold. I like your jacket. Cold it's, it, it looks warm. <laughs> I wish I had a jacket I'm on. Borrow it. Yeah, please. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, uh, talk to the people. Tell them where you're from, how you started. So I'm from South Jersey. Mm. You guys don't know. It's all woods. Not really. It's kind of like country life. What part of South Jersey? Around Malaga. Okay. Yeah, it's really, really small. Yeah. But I started modeling back, I'd probably say about a year ago. Mm. It was hard starting in South Jersey because it's so small. Right, so right, you right. have to like network out to different places. Mm. Yeah, I actually started back when I was working. I knew a lady. She like has her own business, mm. and she looked at me and was like, "Have you ever like tried modeling?" Mm. I was like, no, I haven't. And she was like, "Well, would you like to, you know, model for one of my products?" And I was down for it. You know, try new things. What kind of product? It was like, I'm trying to think. It was like oils first, just like to hold the product kind of like commercially. Yeah. So we did that, and the photographer that we had, which is now like a good friend of mine, he was hyping me up like, "Oh, you never done this before!" Like mm -hmm. I swore, you know, you're a natural. So that kind of helped me get into it more. Right. I was like, oh, I should try this more now. Where? That's fire. Was it like a hand modeling thing, or was it like your full body? Like, yeah, it was like full body. It's kind of just like hold the product, kind of like just like use it. Yeah, yeah. Make it look nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was different. That experience was kind of weird, right? Just yeah, it was modeling. Different. Yeah. I was like, okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, but yeah. I'm trying my best. Where, where? But did you like it though? I did, especially like the way like it made me feel like. Mm. With, like, the feedback, like, oh, like, you know, you haven't done this before. It yeah. looks like you have. So I was just like, oh, snap. Maybe I should, like, keep trying more into it, like, okay. like looking into, more into it. So what made you decide that you wanted to actually take it, like, full throttle? I feel like after that, I started, like, branching out, working with that photographer mainly. Mm -hmm. And then we would get some pictures done. I would post it. And then all of a sudden, new connections. Mm -hmm. I met other photographers. Like, oh, hey, you want to work? And after that, I met stylists. And mm -hmm. from stylists, I met, like, videographers. Like, it's just so many different connections after that, and that kind of made me keep going and also like helped me get better as well. Okay, so in the process of somebody listening to you and want to be somebody just like you or just getting into the game of modeling, like what's the what's the ways that somebody can at least like get a gig or you know figure out their ins and outs of doing it? Like, say if I wanted to be, say if I stop doing this today and I want to be a model tomorrow, like how would I even like go about it in the way that you did? I would definitely say it all starts with just the confidence in yourself, you know, mm. just believe in you. Like, if you want to do it, you can do it, like, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like, I didn't know what I was doing at first, but just try, you know, maybe just hit up a photographer and be like, hey, would you like to work? Mm. Would you like to collab? And then once you collab with them, there you go, you have a new connection. Yeah. Post a picture, now you got more people seeing you, like, oh, I like your picture, now you want to work. Yeah. And I like so many different outlooks. Okay, so just be open, mm -hmm. pretty much. Be okay. open. What's the uh, certain um, model, modeling experience that you had that you want to share with the people? Like, what's some weird or some cool or fun? Let's see. I was going to say, I did a shoot in Cali once, mm. and that was different because I had to do two outfits. And we were in the woods, so, like, how are you going to get changed? Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah. I was with my stylist, and we had to, like, get, like, a whole <clears throat> cover and change out there, which was different yeah and then also there was like a bunch of little pebbles they had to like stand on that yeah. and try to pose that was kind of difficult right. but it was definitely a good experience i'd say it was weird right was mm -hmm. it cold it was no hot. actually thank gosh oh yeah <laughs> lucky right 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 where right, so speaking of cali what's other places that you went to do modeling for so besides cali i said new york a lot in new york mm. A lot in Philly. I've networked with a bunch of people. Mm. Now I'm trying to branch out to Miami, kind of get like beach editorial stuff okay. like that. Yeah, for sure. What are the um, you know, there's all like stereotypes of models and stuff like that. What's the certain modeling that you try to avoid? What's okay. the certain things that you saying like you don't want to do? Okay, so as a model, there are like so many. It's crazy. But for me, I say I don't do lingerie I don't do nude I don't mm. do like political stuff but any types of like views like that why not you're just not into it it's not just these yeah I feel yeah. like I like to I guess you could say like brand myself as like editorial fashion okay print model commercial yeah. I try to stay away from like that side mm. 
I was like Savage Fenty or something. Oh, I'm okay. like, you know, I'm model for them real right, quick. Right, 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 right. But yeah, that's about it. So as for right now, you wouldn't do that. But if opportunity in a certain, if it made sense, you like, yeah. you might consider it type. Yeah, because that makes sense. You know, their branding is different. I feel like you know, it's for all types of women. Mm. You know, so they have their own website and branding. Okay, for sure. I would say in modeling, like, what's the longest shoot you've ever done? Well, besides like hair and makeup, I'd probably say like about four hours. Mm. I would say getting there, waiting for the other people to show up, right, like right. stylists, photographers, setting up the props and getting the right backdrop, and then just the shooting process, and then kind of like going through the pictures at the end. Does it drag? It actually goes by really fast. Oh, okay. I feel like, because once you're in the zone, it's just like. It's crazy. Right, for sure. And do you do like, because uh, certain models do like music videos and stuff like that. Do you do that as well? Or you just stick to just the pictures and the editorials? Let's see. Yeah, I recently do do music videos. Mostly I have like a lot of friends that are artists and I always love like a good like creative story, like mm -hmm. creative director. Like I don't do the normal like, you know, like the twerking. I like the storylines kind of mm -hmm. that I do. Right. Okay, for That's sure. I would say, um, what's the hardest shoot? you've ever done other than the um the Cali. the yeah the Cali situation was that the hardest shoot that just made you you know like it was just a tough day um, you make me think real quick I would say there was this one where I had the pose inside of a box which was different because it's like enclosed space so it's like I can't stand up I gotta try to use my body to mm. kind of formulate the box that was definitely was it like the, the Barbie girl thingy? No, it was, oh. it's actually, I haven't posted yet. Oh, yes. okay, okay. It's a cut. It's, it's a cut. Yeah. <laughs> but that was definitely difficult. Cause just Word. imagine being stuck in a box. Yeah. It's like, you gotta try to make it look. Oh, so you tour. weren't in a box. You just wanted. No, I was they, in the box. Oh, you were in the box. Yeah. Oh, oh, sh oh <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yo, these photographers, bro, what they, what they got y'all doing. <laughs> there was a creativity behind it, you know? Nah, for sure. I would say, in terms of. um shoots who's your favorite photographer to shoot with hmm, so many. i definitely say my favorite right now i have so many i'm just gonna name a couple because i just it's just the energy for me that i love working with photographers so mm. i'd say jared alexander he's a good one from philly mm. Sully, he's from philly as well my other friend taquan he's from new jersey okay so different different photographers the dash guy. Dash guy. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> him too yeah the dash guy. <laughs> Um, what's some challenges you faced into modeling in the beginning, starting off? Like, it was it hard for people to get, like, take you serious, you know, your parents and stuff like that? Because, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, you want to do something that's outside of going to school or being a doctor or nurse. Yeah, you know, the whole like, nine to yeah. five. Definitely for my mom, it was different because she has that old school mindset, like, nah, you're going to go to school, do this, you're right. going to work that nine to five, right. you're going to make sure. So right. I'm like, uh, she don't really understand it right now, but that's okay if people don't understand like what you're doing. Like as long as you believe in you, like yeah. you can get you to where you need to be. Right. So she was kind of opening up to it, understanding it more. But I feel like once she really sees like the like the takeoff start, I feel like she'll yeah. be like, oh, snap, like yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah. You know. Sometimes you always gotta just action speed louder than words. So you gotta just show and prove. That's why I tell a lot of people nowadays, like, cause parents are stuck in their ways where it's that this is all they know mm -hmm. hard work is all they know so you just have to put your hard work into what you believe in and hopefully you know god willing it's going to take you to where it needs to be and then you can just buy my house and then, then stop talking <laughs> yeah be happy then. yeah that's how i feel you just buy my house and they, they just completely just stop talking for real, for real. um i would say who's your favorite model in the industry like who do you look up to i would say going back in the day tire banks mm, why so when I was young, I used to watch America's Next Top Model. I don't uh, know if you heard of that. As, a, as did I, but you know, we're, not we're not gonna speak on that. What you? Yeah, I used to watch that. But, okay, you know, you know a little bit. Yeah, some, some. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I just liked how she was a model. She's very like, like strong, bold. Yeah. You know, she taught people how to smile, how mm. to runway walk. It's just watching that show. I was just like, oh wow, you know. So like it, it embedded you in your mind, low key. Mm, and yeah. I never thought of it until like that one incident happened. I was like, oh shoot, let me. I remember I used to do stuff like that when right, I was younger. Right, right. It's fire. So, what upcoming projects you got going on? What's what's next for you? 
as of right now, I recently just did a shoot with like a huge hat. Mm. So it's like covering my face, but all you can see was my lips. But it turned out really like good, like kind of like classy vibes. Mm. But right now I'm working on, like I said, I want to travel to Miami next month. Okay. And work with this photographer and stylist down there to mm. do a beach editorial. Mm. So it's kind of like sporty. Like some, well, like some Baywatch vibes. Hey, maybe. Something like that. We just have to wait and see, right? Yeah. We're, we're, we're for sure. Um, I got another question for you. Like, there's any advice you could give to an upcoming model, a girl, you know, or a guy who just, you know, they have the looks, but they just don't have the confidence mm -hmm. and they just want to know where to even start or what they should do. What's any advice that you would give to somebody that's out there watching and listening? I would definitely say... Get out of your comfort zone. Because mm. I know being in front of a room with people and cameras is like kind of overwhelming at right. first. Yeah. But maybe try doing it, you know, alone by yourself at first. Like, mm. like photographing your stuff. And then just try it and get out of your comfort zone. Okay. Or maybe do it with a friend that you know. Yeah. That'll definitely help as well. Mm. And then you'll get more like comfortable in front of a camera. And then you'll be like, oh, wow, now, like, this is easy, you know? Kind of like public speaking, you yeah. know? People hate public speaking. I do. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Now look at you. I don't even know why. I, I ask myself all the time, why do we even do this podcast? Because I'm very, I'm so much of an introvert, but. How you doing good? <sighs> yeah, I guess. But it takes time and practice, like mm -hmm. you're saying. You know, you, like you said, you got to get out of your comfort zone. It's not easy, trust me. It's not easy for me. And so, helps you grow. Yeah, it definitely helps you grow. And it, it makes you feel more proud of yourself that you came a long way. Oh, so sure. yeah, so I, I definitely believe in to what you're saying that you definitely got to just take yourself out of your comfort zone and be try to be the best person you can be. Yeah. You know. Also make friends like that you know in the industry, like mm. other models you could like speak to, ask them. Yeah. As well, like I know starting out, like I still feel like I have like so much to work on, mm. but I've met so many other models that are so sweet, like like give me like constructive criticism, which yeah. I I really appreciate that because there's so much you can learn and yeah. do as well. For, for sure um i would say though like isn't it the whole like facade of the modeling industry that like these models be low like stuck up and you know like is there actually good like friendly people in this industry or is there, there is. like okay yeah i say myself yeah. like, i feel like if i don't smile or if people don't know me i might look like like unapproachable you know, like, right yeah. yeah so there are some like that especially um I would say agencies. Okay. Like, have like, you ever faced that? No, I'm not. Luckily, uh, not gonna win. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now right. I've actually been lucky enough to meet a lot of nice models, like right. girls that I appreciate. So in the industry, like people accept you, they welcome you in, type shit. It's not. It's yeah. not as uh, difficult for other people as the, what they say on the uh, on the internet and certain stuff like that. I would say for some, like I know someone, for example, they've gone to casting calls and. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them can deal with your body type. You know, oh, you have to look like this. You have to do this. Da, da, da. Like, don't let what other people say about you get to, you know? Mm. Like, continue to love yourself. Mm. And they just weren't meant for you. Right. But someone else will love you for what right. you look like, you know? Right. Speaking of uh, speaking of that, with the Savage Fenty, like, they're taking all types of, mm -hmm. you know, they're embracing that everybody, every person's body is different. So, and like, I feel like that, yeah. Diversity, everything. You know, everyone's beautiful in their own way. But I appreciate way. that. Yeah. That they do that, too. Where, where, where? I like that. I like that. I like that. Who's your favorite designer? Designer? Yeah, that you've worked with. Um, I don't think I have a favorite designer, but I know for commercial work, I, I would say, or like, clothing brands, I love Fashion Nova. Mm. Like, I would love to, you know, swipe up on their clothing. Yeah. Like, oh, I know her. Yeah, like, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely a goal I would like to achieve. Right. Or I will achieve. No matter what's, what's other brands that you want to tap into? Mm, like clothing wise? Yeah. I would say like Pretty Little Things, like the common clothing, Savage Chanty. Like I said, I like, I like their concept behind what they're doing as mm. well. And a couple designers. I've always wanted to try to runway walk, but it's like my not my main focus right now. Why not? I feel like I'm too short, but... Nah, I don't think so. There's a lot. There's a lot of people that run away. Walk. Uh, what well, was New York Fashion Week coming up too? Yeah, I did see that. There was yeah. like actually a casting call going around. You going? Yeah. Right. Tough. Let's see how it goes. I never did one before, so I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone. Where, where, where? Let's see how that is. Nah, that's fire. Definitely keep doing your thing. Definitely uh, look forward to see what you got going on, and you know we wish the best for you. 
appreciate you. You know, know what I'm saying? And definitely give me a plug on that jacket, too, because I'm going to need it. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So, Fashion over. Fashion over? Oh, yeah. Plug them. Fashion over, please. <laughs> Tap in with Chelsea. She needs to be in a, a brand ambassador, for sure. And if you don't, you're playing yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, you want to shout out your social medias? Tell them where you, they can follow you. Yeah, yours truly, Chelsea, underscore. That's it? Yeah. Oh, word. Are you the type of person that if somebody hit you up for like a, a booking or, you know, like you take like two to three business days or you hit, you know, you respond quick? I'm pretty quick. good. I'm pretty good. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Word, word, word. For, so if, anybody that wants to use her, please, if you have a problem, let me know. Because then I'm going to tell her. She's, she's bad at responding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for sitting with me. Follow us at OTCU Pod. Please follow us at OTCU Pod. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm gonna say, please, like for real, like, comment, subscribe. Chelsea, tell them. Like, comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, all that <laughs> shit. I'm saying, cause we need it. It's gonna help us grow. It's gonna help us do more content. It's gonna help us interview a lot more people and get engaged with a lot more pe uh, different people in the industry, different uh, real estate people, rappers, artists, or actual artists, artists, more models, more people that's just doing their thing in this community. So they are definitely just continue to support us and we will definitely give you more content. So yeah, follow me at djh 201 Follow the Dash God at Uncortified Masaili. The Dash God, Dash God, Dash God. And yeah, thank you.